yeah, it's definitely been a tricky spell. I think the key to coming out on the other side of it is is remaining together. Um, one thing that I can say is internally, us as a group, we're in it together. And, and the good thing is that we've got time to put it right. So um, I've got all the faith in this group. Um, I think there's more than enough ability. Um, a few things haven't been going our way. Um, it's not for us to make excuses. We, we take full accountability of that. And I think, um, yeah, we've been, we've been learning some very harsh lessons. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can put that right. Look, we've been in this predicament not long ago with the start that we had. Um, but look, and there's a few of us in the dressing room that have been in, in teams that have experienced this before. So um, yeah, it's, it's not time for panic stations, um, to say the least. It's about us getting together and um, pulling in the right direction to make sure we can start um, getting three points on the board and climbing up the table. It is a big responsibility, um, the part that I have to play as a senior figure in the dressing room, along with others. Um, there's not many of us that are plus 30, <laughs> but um, which is which is isn't normal. Um, growing up, I had a lot more lads that were more senior and so on. So it's a younger dressing room. Dressing rooms are getting younger in general. So I think the requirement is for those that are younger that probably would always maybe look into someone else to now step up to the plate as well. Um, there's there's a lot of leaders in that dressing room. Um, so it's about you know them stepping up to the plate, playing their part, and I think it's more than you know we put a real onus on that individual, you know, the captain or whoever else it may be. Um, but I think there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a real important factor uh, around like there being 11 leaders out on the team and everyone playing their part. Um, and even the subs, you know, from, from the way that they can drive things and how they can drive training and so on. So I think it's a, it's a collective effort for sure. A responsibility I take serious, but um, there's, there's other lads in the dressing room that, that are also taking it very serious and looking to put it right. I think it's really important that we remember you know, the good spells that we've had in games. Um, and I, I think it's, it's vital that you kind of find the right balance between it all. Um, I think there's that saying, you know, never too high, never too low in football. Uh, and I think it's, it's vital that we remain pretty consistent, still have that belief that we, we are good enough, um, which I know we are, um, but also not getting carried away because at the end of the day, you need to get three points at the end of the day. And I'm, I'm sure we all could say that we'd rather win a scrappy game 1-0, do you know what I mean, with an own goal, then play the best football and lose. So, so yes, yeah, it's, it's about striking that real balance because we want to enjoy our football, we want to play the right way, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it's about getting three points on the board. So um, I'm sure, you know, the fans are frustrated and us as players are even more so frustrated, but, um, but it's about us sticking together, um, having that belief and then pushing in the right direction. Yeah, there's a lot of changes that have definitely taken place, um, but ultimately there's still that same togetherness, there's still that same team spirit. And, um, and look, it, don't get me wrong, it takes time to see the fullness of that and for it to materialise into results and, and, and so on. But, um, but I think ultimately you've still got a core bunch of lads that, have, that know what it takes, that know the culture, um, know what the fans require, know how to carry themselves, know how to conduct themselves, it's embodied you know, perfectly in, in someone like Prax. And so, so I think all of us have got great examples in the dressing room, um, be it the younger lads that understand the standards or even older lads. So um, I think there's, there's, they're the good signs. I've been, a lot, I've been a part of other dressing rooms where it's a lot worse. You know, there's real division. Um, it's a lot more toxic than it is there, so that's for sure. So um, yeah, I think, I think we've got all the makings to put things right. And um, yeah, let's, let's do that for coming on Sunday.